What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video by yours truly. I hope you guys are staying safe, staying clean, uh, quarantining yourselves in a time like this. So we are going to talk a little bit about HHN today. Um, my boys at TLV for one have been killing it in the TLV horror game. So go follow and subscribe to them if you guys are not yet subscribed to TLV horror because they have just been killing it with these videos lately, man. And um, it, it's given me a lot of motivation to really get back into the world of making more original videos other than just the podcast. Um, but I really do love podcasting. That's why there's been a lot more podcasts out lately. So uh, thank you guys for your constant support for if you guys listen to the podcast as well. But um, today we're going to talk HHM predictions. Now it's it's you know. I try not to do a lot of these because I like to stretch out my predictions and I like to wait till they announce stuff. And we are in March, so around this time last year, usually around March is when we get our first HHN announcement. Now, as of this recording, that has not happened yet. Um, and I don't know if they're going to be holding it off because of the virus or not, but um, I'm hoping that they're working hard and continuously on HHN 2020 and we will see what happens. So um, I got a couple predictions I want to throw out in the bag today. Uh, for starters, one of the things I was thinking about that we haven't really seen a, a maze about yet, and this would be another challenge maze for Murdy to do, which would be um, the Hannibal series. Now, I think Hannibal could make a very good uh, maze with, with Hannibal Lecter himself just being a very creepy guy and making you feel uncomfortable. And then you have Buffalo Bill and just, just the all-out weirdness of that movie um, would very much make me feel uncomfortable walking through that. Of course, Hannibal being, of course, Hannibal the Cannibal. Um, I would very much like to see a take on what Murdy can do with um, with Hannibal, the the entire series, Science of the Lambs, Hannibal. Um, I, I would love to see what he can do with that. Um, another one that he's been teasing on social media with a picture is um, Gremlins. Um, Gremlins, a lot of fans have been wanting Gremlins. I have personally never seen Gremlins. It just looks like a movie that I would not watch. I'm not really into that, but I might check it out if it comes to HHN. Um, but I think... Um, Gremlins could be an interesting maze to do. Um, I know a home haunt had did Grem a Gremlins kind of walk through maze, which I which I heard was actually really good, and a lot of people really enjoyed it. So to see HHN's take on the Gremlins, I think would be very interesting and very uh, probably cool. I mean, they did Killer Clowns, which was a funny horror comedy movie, which I really enjoyed. That's one of my favorites of all time. Um, so I would love to see what they can do with Gremlins, another horror kind of comedy movie, which would be. Um, interesting again i have never seen the movie it just never looked, it never caught my interest but i will definitely watch it to see uh, what else you can do with that movie uh and when i do i will when i make another hhn update we will talk about it um another another good property i think what would be uh really interesting to see um just because in my opinion uh it's one of my it's a it's a really good trilogy um and that's unbreakable split in glass um of course with the the whole uh the whole the tie-in between Unbreakable and Split. At the end of Split, that was a big shock for a lot of people that they didn't know Bruce Willis was going to be in it to tie it into Unbreakable, that universe of like a superhero horror universe, which was really cool. Um, and I think with Split, it was really cool to see not only different personalities, but at the end, the Beast, which was really terrifying to see and stuff and how strong he is and, and everything. So that would be really cool to to see as a maze, to see the beast pop out of you and then having fights with, you know, the beast and, and Bruce Willis's character, which would be really cool, and then having Samuel Jackson's glass character come out every now and then to kind of stir up some more action um, because we all know he was really evil as well, um, you know, plotting a lot of stuff to, to get Bruce Willis to see his powers, you know, plotting a train crash, you know, and, of course, working with the beast to try to uh, form chaos so he can make the world unknown. He can make the world known... Uh, he can let the world know that there's superheroes in this world and stuff like that. So I think that would be a very interesting maze to see. Um, and, of course, the last one um, on the topic of horror superheroes that I would love to see is uh, Brightburn. I think Brightburn could be a really interesting maze. Um, and I really f would like to see what they can do with Brightburn. Brightburn was very terrifying at points. And I think I, I think the only challenge that arises with Brightburn is, of course, you know, he flies a lot in that movie. He does, he's, like, really fast at some points in that movie. So I think that would be the only challenge that arises in that movie. But I think Brightburn, nonetheless, would, would make a great maze just to see that a kid in that fucking red... Uh, mask and that that cape and he's just running around killing people i think that would be terrifying um much like split of course with the superhero horror genre concept i mean it it it, it would be very it'd be very interesting to see this turn into a maze especially he's supposed to be like a 
a evil Superman in a way. So, um, yeah, those are some of my predictions for HHN 2020. If an announcement drops, we will make a video on it. And if, um, if I have any more predictions or if I want to do an East versus West, maybe catch up with Eddie to see uh, where he's at with some Orlando predictions. Uh, we will do that soon. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.